Okay, I'm back once again, July 7, 2013. This is when uh, this came out. Five arrested protesting murder by Milwaukee police. March against police killing in Milwaukee. Community members rallied in memory of Derek Williams, who was killed in the custody of the Milwaukee Police Department on July 6, 2011, two years ago to the day. Militant protests against MPD brutality and corruption have been happening regularly for over a year, and protesters routinely take over major streets for hours on end. This time, however, the police response was far more aggressive, resulting in a heated confrontation on Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. They are sending more black people to jail in the zip code 53206 than any other zip code in the country. One day we're going to shut this 5th district police station down and turn it into a Holocaust museum, said rally organizer Brian Verdon over a chorus of honks from passing cars. In response to mass protests calling for justice for Derek Williams, both the state and federal inquest was won and resulted in a jury recommending charges against three white police officers for the death of Williams, who was black in the back of an MPD squad car. The state jury found the police guilty of disobeying MPD policy for treatment of a detainee, which allowed Williams to suffocate in the squad car and recommended charges against all three officers. But, here's the but. The judges in both cases disregarded the jury's opinion and allowed all three police to return to duty with back pay, outraging the community. Now I'm going to stop there. This is what I'm talking about, exactly. There is no justice on the streets and there is no justice in the courts. So what are people left with? Taking justice into their own hands. And that's exactly what they're forcing people to do because that's what they want. They want the civil war. This is what's going to happen. I mean, it's inevitable. Outside the 5th District Police Station, Derek Williams aunt aimed her megaphone at dozens of police and said, I want everyone to know I'm not stopping at the Fed's decision. I told Chief Flynn I'm not stopping. The tears we shed were real and the pain we felt watching the autopsy over and over was real. I could see where they peeled back his skin and there were marks on his back from kneeling on him and breaking his neck. They can't and they can't charge these officers for killing my nephew? After confronting the police department, the rally then marched towards the site where Williams was killed several blocks away, immediately taking the streets. Paddy wagons swarmed the group of swarmed the group a few blocks later, first attempting to arrest the black women leading the march. Protesters de-arrested several people in the scuffle that followed, and baton-wielding police reinforcement arrived and began to violently push protesters back as they filmed five protesters leaders five protest leaders get arrested, including a relative of Derek Williams. You see what I'm saying, folks? You see what I'm saying? These people, it's kind of like you're going to go to a gunfight with nothing. It's kind of like what they're, this is the message they're sending to people. If you think you can outbeat us, we're going to hit you with our batons. And if you want to de-arrest people, even though we're illegally arresting them, then we're going to end up doing other stuff. Like pushing them and putting them in the paddy wagons. This is, this is insane. The protests continued outside the 5th District Station until the, arrests were, the arrested were released, where one protester remarked, five protesters were arrested for violations such as standing in roadway, Yet not a single police officer has been held responsible for breaking the neck of Derek Williams and refusing to help him while he begged for help for over 10 minutes, handcuffed and suffocating in the back of an MPD squad car. You see what I'm saying, folks? This is, this is going to happen to one of your relatives one day, and you can be like the ant, crying and begging for the same criminals that killed this young man to do something about it. It's idiotic. They're not going to do anything about it. What are they going to say? Well, let me give up my lavish lifestyle and uh, leave my family and kids um, for the simple fact that I'm guilty. That's not going to happen. As the final arrested protester was released, the protest continued undeterred to the site of Derek Williams Memorial, once again taking the streets in defiance. At the site of the memorial, community members came out to join a prayer circle. Activists and family members spoke, vowing to continue the struggle until justice is done, which it won't be. It won't be until they take justice into their own hands, only because the system is forcing them to do so. You have cops that are killing civilians, citizens, 
because they call them civilians now, that's what they call us. And you have the judges not charging them with the crimes, crimes crime of murder. I mean, this is insane. But once again, I can guarantee you I'll find two, three more videos today if I really wanted to search that or search for them and show you more examples. This is on a daily basis. And this is what my fourth video today. But here we are. I'm just proving one point, folks. I mean, I can, I can literally quit my job and do this full time. I mean, these officers are giving me stories left and right. It's like a never-ending supply of stories. So, what do you guys think? If officers were to kill your son or your brother or your father, what would you do? Would you do exactly what this lady's doing on a megaphone, crying and screaming, Justice will be done by someone besides me and my family because... Who knows? Or would you do something about it? Let me know and please once again no threats. NSA is watching. Thanks for watching.